Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today I wanted to show you how to make a sterilized grass like this in Blender and uh, maybe do some compositing and uh, other things that uh, you're seeing in this scene. Yeah, so I guess uh, we can jump right into it. This is going to be more of a project for all of you and uh, maybe a basic tutorial on how I created the grass. So yeah, let's do that. Let me just open up a new blend file. By the way, you can get the project file as a Patreon or if you join my YouTube membership, you can also download the project file or you can get it on Gumroad. Okay, so let's start with the grass, which was super, super simple. You just start with a, a plane. Just going to scale it on the X axis, scale it on the Y, add a few loops uh, because uh, we want to have this grass animated right at the center there. Move this blade to the top there. You might be tempted to use a texture, an alpha texture for the grass, but uh, usually those are quite expensive in terms of uh, computation power. Having more polygons on a mesh is less computer intensive than using a lot of alpha uh, in your renders like that. Shade smooth, and uh, then I can just make a few copies of these, rotate them around. Then what you do, you just uh, set up the material. Let me show you this here. Yeah, you can see the material is very simple. I just have a gradient texture, I like that. A very small, simple gradient uh, that goes up. A vertical gradient like that. And uh, I scaled it up a bit on the y-axis because uh, normally the gradient can be a bit harsh like that uh, it won't bring give you good results so you can play scale it a bit so that it's uh, faint uh, like that and uh, then i colorize it with a color ramp like that just some greens and browns like that uh, i have another gradient like this to introduce in some variation in the grass i uh, blend it in there like that and uh, finally i also have this web texture uh, but I can come to that later after we instance everything. So this is the main thing. I have a diffuse and translucence so that if we have some light in the scene, some light in the scene, we can, we can see that uh, it goes through uh, the grass a bit. Yeah, if you're seeing the, that kind of optical flare is uh, because I have viewport compositing on, I will also be showing you how I set that up. So that's uh, the grass. But uh, you see, if I play back, you see some waves are like wind. Uh, let me first disable some of uh, uh, the the wave motion and uh, maybe the viewport compositing so that we see everything as it's supposed. So this is how everything looks without viewport compositing. You can see it's, I think it's a bit boring. Uh, that's why I did the viewport compositing. Uh, okay, so yeah. If I play back, you see we have some bit of shadow that uh, kind of looks like cloud shadow going through uh, and uh, it produces that wind effect. So that's what this uh, wave texture is doing. It's just a wave texture that is distorted a bit and uh, uh, the, the I added texture coordinate mapping, but uh, it's getting its mapping and uh, its animation from an empty I have which yeah this empty here so so when I move this you can see that uh, when I made this you can see we have all shadows going through uh, the grass like that which gives it a, a nice effect and uh, if I add uh, this web texture on top of that you see it makes it really look like wind and let me show you quickly how to set up the the wave okay if you want to set up the wave, you just have to give it a wave modifier and see uh, the default settings are not too bad. You just have to reduce the speed and uh, time here. I'm just going to put it at uh, point 0.1 so that it's a bit slow. But I uh, see the bottom part is also moving. Yeah, we don't want the bottom part to be moving. So you just give it a vertex group, assign, and uh, then under here, use that vertex, vertex group like that. I'm going to make sure that uh, it's just that. And uh, yeah, I think uh, that's good enough. So that's what I had as the grass here. You can see how it's animated. And uh, I just instance, instance it as a particle system onto this plane here like that. And uh, the settings are very simple. I just have advanced turn on and rotation just to randomize the phase and rotation a bit. Uh, but, uh, and I also have children on and uh, that's how I get 
the particle system and uh, then I have another instance of our uh, flowers uh, basically I do the same process I model the flower and then instance it as a particle and to make this scene look better what I did I use viewport compositing so I added some less dis distortion I think the effect looks a bit better and it makes the lens look more wide angle and I also added some dispersion uh, this is when the colors are a bit uh, distorted a bit like that also works as uh, depth of field in some areas like here so we're always focused on the main character I also added in some light streaks so if I add a point light you can see we get an optical flare and let me just increase this to 10,000 to and I have a combination of two so I have the glare ghosts and uh, glare streaks uh, to create an, an effect like that uh, this glare and uh, this glare streaks and glare ghosts uh, if you add them in you can uh, use them to create some nice optical flares so you can see if you have any bright objects in your scene uh, say if I add in this uh, EV sphere you can see I can create some optical flares and if I give it an emissive material let's see I see 10 I can use it as the Sun I yeah, just have to put it somewhere far and uh, you'd have some nice optical flares like yeah which I think I uh, really give you some nice effect and I did some color correction here if I remove this color balance see I also have a vignette uh, that one I use an ellipse mask which you can find under matte ellipse mask and I just if I look at this it's just a, a circle play with the height to make it fit and uh, then use this blur to blur it and uh, just blend it uh, with the multiply option like that um I also wanted to control the color of uh, the grass uh, separately so I added this color balance and uh, this color key uh, the color key what it does you can use it to create a mask of different objects uh, like this by color selection so uh, for example I wanted to isolate uh, to isolate the grass so I sampled the grass color and uh, created a mask for that inverted the selection and uh, just if I preview this you can see I can change the color of the grass just the grass like that and say I wanted to color correct just the sky and duplicate this chroma key or uh, this color key and, uh, let's look at this uh, but this time just select uh, the blue sky and uh, you can use hue and saturation to, to just you can use this uh, these colors to adjust the values a bit I uh, want the inverse of my selection so I'll just do invert actually I want the mat inverted like that and uh, now I can bring in another mix node here uh, this is this works as the factor and uh, this is going to be our image now this is going to be our sky you can see how things look but I don't want to just replace the entire sky I just want it to be blended I just want to color correct it so I'm just going to use this as image so basically it won't have any effect right now now what I can do is just bring another color color balance you know and now I can adjust uh, the sky separately from everything else you can see uh, this side because it lacks uh, the blue we have this side we get that harsh transition uh, what you can do is just blur the mask a bit uh, to reduce to reduce on that or come back to the mask and increase the value selection at the value here and uh, I can come back to this and 
this is before after before after i think that's good yeah that's it uh thank you for watching again project files are going to be in the description if you want to check out the project uh thank you speaking of skies don't forget to check out physical starlight and atmosphere your solution for skies in uh, blender you can see you get a ton of settings and a ton of presets that you can choose from you don't have to do a lot of tweaking but uh you can you but you can if you want to it's miles ahead compared to the sky texture that comes with blender you even have an option to add two suns uh yeah, yeah this is really amazing uh, it has a lot of presets and a lot of settings you can choose from you have great control of shadows uh clouds everything uh, that you could ever need so if uh, this is something that you want to test out uh links are going to be in the description thank you